Hey, H. Whatever City Nation, your boy, Pastor Steve Van Lee, Felicia Rose here. Merry Christmas to all of you guys. We are so honored to come into your home this morning. On Christmas morning, as you can tell, our kids are already geeked up, opening up gifts of God. Enjoy our service this morning. Again, Merry Christmas. We love you guys.
Good morning, HBWC Nation. Your boy, Pastor Levi Rosier, Harvard Builder Worship Center. I'm the senior pastor. Wow, what a beautiful day. It is Christmas morning. One of the greatest days to be alive in the earth. God, I know you, you just open your gifts and all that stuff. And but we want to come online really quick, about 10 minutes and maybe 12 more, and just give you guys a blessing message this morning. We've all been through a lot of stuff, guys. And listen, there are a lot of people right now who are excited about this day. But there's a lot of people, guys, right now who've lost their loved one, who's missing someone on this day. So we understand how tough it is for a lot of people. But also, we had, overall, it is a beautiful day to be alive and to celebrate our risen Savior, Jesus Christ. Hey, guys, welcome to my home. I want to come be personal with you today as my family. And I also want to say Merry Christmas to you also. So right now in the feed, let's just wish our Savior happy birthday. Go ahead and feed right now and say happy birthday, Jesus. We love you so much, and we thank God for being in our lives and being alive. Listen, this coronavirus throughout this year, guys, have caused a lot of people some heartache and hit in different places, which caused us to do things a little different in different ways. And so listen, right now, we must right now in the feed tell God, thank you for the day. I mean, thank, come on, thank God for the day. Thank God right now. If your kids sit beside you, you may not get the guy, you may didn't get the gift that you thought you should have gotten. Right now, say, thank you, Lord, that I'm alive today. Well, today's message, guys, is going to be short and quick, but it's going to be tight. So, God, right now, we ask for Holy Spirit to come into our life afresh right now. As we move in this message, people are excited about Jesus this morning because they got up. So, God, listen, let's go into the Word. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. I must come from a text this morning. Real quick, there's two verses that I think you guys are going to love and connect with this Christmas morning 2020. It's almost in, but right now we must, of all the days we should celebrate Christmas, it's now. Listen, it's going to be a, a laconic message, brief message, abbreviated by God, but let me show you something. The Bible talk in two verses in Luke 10 and 11. Those are the only two verses I'm going to deal with. They link Luke 10 and 11. It is the Christmas story. It is the birth. It is the celebration. It is the intro into when Jesus was birthed into the world. He's already born. He's already born. He's already been born, but there are some guys who do not know it. So we're going to talk about the shepherd, the shepherd boy who was out in the field and an angel appeared to them out of nowhere. And of course, he said, don't be afraid. I have good news for you. My goodness. Now, look at that. Don't be afraid because I have good news for you. Listen, for there to be good news, he must be accosting some bad news. Listen, for there to be good news, he first has to accost some bad news. Right now, life has been crazy. Things are not going as we thought we should. A lot of us are not back in our churches yet. Mom may have passed. Sister may have passed. Some of you guys may have lost loved ones several years ago, and you still feeling the grief from it. And life just been crazy. And so Jesus, Jesus Christ come on the scene, and he don't come on the scene in a good place. He come on the scene in a bad place, but bring goodness with him. I got to say that again. He comes on the scene in a bad place, but bring goodness with him. He wasn't looking for goodness. He was bringing goodness. And then what he said that that good news, here's what it's going to do. It's going to bless people everywhere. He said that good news, the angel tell the shepherd in the 10th verse, this good news is going to bless people everywhere. Everywhere, you know CNN, it's the CNN news, you know Fox News, you know you got NBC, you know all those guys are the, are, they call themselves trusted news. CNN even called themselves the most trusted news in the world. I can't really vouch for that too much because I've seen too many lies. But then you got Fox News, who's more of the conservative side, they tell you their side of things. Then you got MSBC, who love the uh, liberal side, that's their side. So really, what you're getting from news is their side, one side, trying to feed one side. Jesus bring new. He said, my new, which means N-E-W-S, north, come on, east, south, and west. Those, that's, that means new. The news itself, north, east, west, and south, that means new. That means the new that Jesus is bringing is going to go everywhere, north, east, west, and south. That means the new, he's not trying to feed one base. He's not trying to feed a conservative party. He's not trying to feed a liberal party. He's not trying to feed 
a progressive party. He's not trying to just feed someone who lost their mom, dad, brother. He's just not trying to feed those who just have cancer. He's not trying to just feed those who may not have money during this Christmas season. Jesus is a the sum total of who God is. And what he's saying is, I'm trying to reach you everywhere, where, wherever you're at. That means God himself has decided until Jesus came, no one had access to God the Father until Jesus came. That's the good news. The good news is whatever there is a gap, Jesus came to close the gap. Wherever there's a disconnect, this good news that's being born into the world is going to bring you close to God. Listen, God, let me tell you something. I got to get out of here next five minutes. Aristotle came. I, I, I'm going to start with Aristotle, a very smart Greek guy, a very smart guy who was a teacher of Alexander the Great. These guys all was on the scene before Jesus, Herod the Great, and they could not bring you Good news. You got folks right now. We're trying to elect presidents. They can't give us the good news, you think? We're trying to get a good boyfriend, good job. That is not a good news that I'm talking about. Because those good news are not eternal. They're going to run out on you. Those news are going to run out on you. But this news, I'm telling you right here, is eternal, everlasting news. It's going gonna, it's gonna to move things for you closer to God. Listen today. But here's my hallmark text of the day before I leave. Luke 2, 11. He said this right here. He said, listen. To, he said, listen, today. He tell the shepherd boy, today, today, your Savior, Christ the Lord, was born in the city of David. Today, your Savior, today, your Savior is born. Right now in the midst. He said, your Savior is born, and he's not far from you. He's right. He's right near you. He's not even he's not even far, far from you now. Today is the day your savior was born. What's my message for all of us today on this Christmas morning? Live in your today. Live in your today. Your today is right now. Jesus came to heal us from our past. He came to heal us in our present and also grab our future. So he, what I'm saying, Pastor Levi, he's saying today I need all of you during this Christmas season to live in your today. Today, if you hear his voice, heart not your heart. Today, live in his peace. Today, live in his wholeness. That's what Christmas morning is all about. I hope all of you may have gotten something for Christmas. But if you don't have Jesus Christ, the risen Savior, as your Lord, those good news that you got are going to run out. Those good news that you got is going to need a battery to change in it. That good news that you got may not last but a year or two. But if you get the good news and live in it, Today, I mean, ask him today. When you're going through, talk to him today. When you got life going great, talk to him today. So today, I'm asking all of us to live in your today. It's Christmas morning. Stop playing games. It's Christmas morning right now. Tell Jesus thank you and that you want to live in the today. Because this thing has, this life we're in right now has tried to wipe all of us out. And I'm going to tell you, if you're living right now, you're breathing right now, tap in, tap in the feed right now. Thank you for today. And I am going to live in my today. Child of God, if you heard this message right now and you have not, if you're not ex- accepted your today, you got to first accept your today. There's a lot of us on this feed who have accepted our today, but you may not have accepted your today. This message was all about you. He wanted you on the feet. He kept you alive today, number one, to accept him as your Lord and Savior. So do it right now. Say, Heavenly Father, I accept you today, and I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Be my Lord and be my God. Today, I am saved, and today, I start anew. Now, you guys out there who have already been saved, and maybe the enemy has tried to live, make you and I live in our yesterday. He tried to take our hurt and make us live in our yesterday. I want to remind you, go back to living in your today. Oh, it's Christmas morning. And this is, I love, I, and, I, and I know, I know this is not the exact day he was born, but this is the exact day we celebrate him. So today, Christians around the world, let's tell God thank you and go back to living. Living 
in your today. God, we love you guys so much and honor you for taking time from your family and joining our family and, and, and connecting with our Lord and Savior. It's a Merry Christmas around the world and we must celebrate and let the devil know we win and I will continue to live in mine today. Well, God, thank you so much for coming into my home and connecting with us as a Christian family, as a church family, HBWC Nation. We are, we, we are not going nowhere. We're loving on people. We're doing things at a high level. If you choose to want to give a birthday seed to Christ today, and you have an opportunity and our people will let you do that. We didn't get on the line for that. But if you choose to, to give Jesus a birthday seed today into the kingdom, they will give you ways that you can give today. If you choose to because we will always put your stuff to work because it is today today is the day of salvation so harden not your heart and receive our lord guys we love you so much thank you for being part of hbwc nation it's christmas guys and we want to say merry christmas to you and your family we're praying for those who lost loved ones i know it's tough right now we love you so much guys thank you so much and also guys we come back on sunday morning this sunday we have an hour giving sunday we're having communion and guys join us at 10 a.m get on our youtube page download our app we love to connect with you in any kind of way and if you need prayer just email us at prayer at hbcbsu.com I love you. Merry Christmas from my family to yours. Hey, Revolution Nation, be blessed, and we'll see you soon.